Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for this Jim versus Jack matchup, folks. I am your King of Extreme Phil KOE, man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes you the podcast coward. You can, of course, find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter dash X. And I am here with my indomitable broadcast partners, the one, the only, your big fucking emperor, and your 16 time revolutionary wrestling podcast champion, Tony fucking G. And also, we are joined, very special, very special occasion here, folks. Joined by the one, the only... Terms, how you doing? Yes, yes, uh, the man of charisma himself. And folks, we are in to this deep, deep Jim Jack matchup. And without further ado, and here we are, folks, for this match of straight up Jim Beam versus Jack Daniels, old number seven, white label... Black Label, the matchup of the ages. The light versus the dark. Something like that. So, folks, yeah, I mean, this is sort of the Dark Lord of the Sith, the Jedi, however you want to look at it. Now, this is this is what, whenever you go to a bar, Bourbon versus Tennessee whiskey. Bourbon versus bourbon. Yeah. So, whenever you go to any bar, any bar, if you go into it and they don't have... Probably both of these, if not at least one. You might as well just leave, because this is your standard when it comes to pour me a whiskey. You're going to probably get something like this. One of these two. If you're nondescript, you're going to get one of these two. If you ask for a mixed drink, you're probably going to get one of these two. You can ask specifically for Jim and Coke or Jack and Coke or whatever, but if you just ask for a whiskey... This is the one, folks, and this is your Kentucky versus Tennessee. This is your heavyweight matchup of brands in the whiskey world, especially the bourbon world more than anything else. Am I right? Well, this is more of a bourbon versus Tennessee whiskey matchup of the ages. Right, if you want to put taglines and nicknames. You know, well, Tony, Socrates said that the first step to proper wisdom is to call things by their proper names. And you will see that on here it says... I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. And you will see that nowhere on this bottle <laughs> will you see that the word bourbon does not appear anywhere on this Jack That's Daniels fine. bottle. Yet to. it's all over this Jim Beam bottle. There are no Strange. disqualifiers in this bottle that disqualify it from being a bourbon. Sugar. Anyway, you know the rules of this. So sugar maple charcoal. That doesn't disqualify it. Filtration. George Dickel. It's not sugar maple uh-huh, sugar. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll talk later. Anywho, this is a blind tasting. I have poured these. You're not. I've poured these. They don't know which is which. So this is an honest versus matchup, as all of these videos will be. They won't know which one they're drinking, so they can answer it honestly. As we get deeper, it might get more difficult, but this is the core of both. Regular Jack versus regular Jim, an honest versus matchup. We will see who the winner is. So... First and foremost, we will start with the one on your left. Try it first. On the nose. Do you get anything specific on the nose? Kind of an earthy sweetness, but not much. There is a sweetness, yeah. I, it's almost like a... This smells like root beer barrel hard candy taste. Knows the glass on the right. <laughs> it's a little more earthy, a lot less sweet on the nose. This one, it seems way more bland. Not like this yeah, there's not a lot on the nose here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, okay, definitely different noses. A lot more going on on the left, I think. Yeah, a little bland on the nose on the right. So, let's uh, let's start with the glass on the left, tasting it. It's sweet. Is it though? Yeah, it's sweet. It's it's a little sharp though. And for not being a heavy proof, it it drinks a little heavier than the proof would indicate. Oh, let's try uh, whiskey number two. Whiskey B, if you will. Whiskey on the right. Mm. 
kind of a there's a little more sweetness compared to the nose for sure. A bit of a cardboard, honestly, is what I was getting there. Not, not. Well, yeah. The second one seems to drink a little bit smoother in the aftertastes and the fences. I'm gonna go back through. Now the nose has changed after you've gone into them. Yeah. What lost? I think my water system is so. Mm. Hmm. Okay, since I poured these, I will not be voting. Won't need to because until the end. There won't need to be. But okay. Betwixt the three of you, this will be an honest, decisive decision. So. Who votes for the whiskey in the left glass, and who votes for the right? So we'll start with the left glass. Who votes for the whiskey A? Negative. Who votes for whiskey B? Clean sweep for whiskey B, huh? Is that what you vote for, germs? Yep. Mm. So was whiskey B Jack Daniels T? I want to hear what you guys think. Whiskey A was Jim Beam. Whiskey B was Jack Daniels. You would be correct. Jim Beam was whiskey on the left, whiskey A, Jack Daniels. Was because it tasted like right. clay. I knew it. I got, There's I got something wood at a number two. There's something with Jim Beam's half that's just so offensive. There, it's, it's almost slick. Now, Tony, I don't like it. what you can do here is give us a blend. I am going to do that, but I will say the note that I get here with the Jack, or the Jim that I don't get with the Jack, is it, it's a very distinct nut. Nuttiness. And I didn't say that because then obviously you would have known. Yes. So, this is a blend that has to be known. I mean, when are you going to have the chance to mix Jack oh, Daniels gosh. and Jim Beam again? Like, only every time I ever go to the bar for the rest of my life. Yeah. You have to pay extra. Not here, folks. So. The Blend Master 50 50 Jack Jim. Here we go. The gym ruins the jack. It's helping yeah. one and hurting the other. <laughs> I think they actually contradict each other in a really yeah. Way. I got this really yeah weird. because the gym ruins the jack. I'm getting the honestly, I'm getting now the nuttiness of the gym with the cardboard of the jack ruining the jack. I, I think the gym mix better with the jack than the jack mix with the gym. You know what I mean? I. Uh... I know why they do the three amigos now. We need Jose in here to clear all of this out of my mind. Bring it on! Triple threat! No, uh, no, this was a clear and decisive victory in this versus series. Jack Daniels goes up early in a pretty important matchup because as far as the staples go of each brand, that, that was a big one. So Jack Daniels, point out. So folks, this blend, I'm going to give a... A D plus. If you ever thought about it, it's not D necessary. Minus. Yeah. 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 Mm. Drink, so, drink water. So folks, that's an option. As I'm known to say around here. All that being said, this is a huge victory for Tennessee whiskey today over the forces of Kentucky bourbon. And another whiskey. just folks uh, ignore this propaganda. Fantastic. At the end of the Explanation day, at the, the end of the day, bourbon wins yes. again. Bourbon wins again. When not bourbon this match, goes Tennessee against bourbon, whiskey, well, bourbon always wins. But that's not what happened here, folks. God bless every last Except one of you. I hope all of you make it back here to the KOE Nation. Happy, healthy, much the wiser. Raise a glass to yourselves, gentlemen. Cheers. Go away. Always, folks, appreciate uh, you. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs>